if this happens, you don't get a chance to black start because all the transformers are fried. If we got hit with an EMP, which, you know, we, we spent all this money making the biggest military, but our military can be just like taken out like that because- With one click of a button even. You know, just like mm -hmm. one pull of a plug mm -hmm. because it's technical. So we need to just come back. It's easy to do. It's an easy, inexpensive fix. We just need to do it and get the people that are standing in the way on board mm -hmm. behind us. And I was able to interview a Dr. Peter Pry earlier this week, and I know that he's also in your trailer uh, that I was able to watch very well put together. It's awesome. Um, congratulations on that. But he uh, he was full of knowledge on all of the topics, and it's great that you're able to have him also be a part of this, um, this endeavor. What do you feel uh, is, is coming from the standpoint of our country really is not safe right now. So what do you feel like the next big thing is going to happen? I know EMP and all of that stuff, but do you think, I mean, there's there's cities that are in Idaho, for instance, I think it's called the Citadel, I could be wrong, where they're creating their own their own entity, their own lifestyle. So they, if you have to either be a blacksmith or something that can be beneficial to that community, um, do you think that that's going to be the next big movement? People, when they do wake up and they start realizing this, do you think that they're going to start putting together different communities? Or what do you think the next big thing is for our, our country once we are aware of that this is a possibility? God forbid, because then I'll have to uh, go from being a screenwriter to, <laughs> to a book. And I guess books, people will go back to reading. Etching but, into... <laughs> yeah. Um, right. But that's the thing is that people, there are a lot of people right now who see this problem and are preparing, mm -hmm. and those ones will survive. I don't think they'll uh, have any... I mean, the Quakers are... Uh, the uh, the Amish, yeah, because they're already used to that lifestyle. Even they, even you know. the Mormons are mm -hmm. very big on on prepping and making sure people they know how to can and all that stuff. And then Texas is doing a lot to its grid because it's a sep you have three actual grid setups: the eastern mm -hmm. section and the western section, and then Texas. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Texas will probably could secede and go right. anywhere. <laughs> we're we're on our yeah, and we just can't afford that. We're America. We're a country, and we need to just. We need this film to get out, mm -hmm. to educate people. And it's an entertaining, exciting film, but it's informative. It's a fast watch. You don't have to spend five years of your life doing all this research. I did it for you. Take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. And just get the film. Show it to everybody you can. Get people aware. And let's not have this problem in the first place. And as I said, we don't get a second chance on right. this if it goes down. I mean, I don't really want to become a Mormon, or, and I can't, you know, I, I guess, <laughs> I know. you know what I mean? It's going to be really tough. You know? so right, no, I understand. I don't, I don't know what you and I as city people mm -hmm. are going to do. I mean, we uh, can go get a bug out bag, and right. I mean, that's about it, and that's right. not going to last very long. Right. So we really do need to prepare. We prepare in our house. We have, you know, fire extinguishers, and we have fire alarms, and, mm -hmm. you know, you go to businesses, and they have all these things, and... This is the one thing that's not protected. Our country's pretty well protected in other things. Mm -hmm. But in this, we are sitting ducks. Right. And we're playing Russian roulette with this issue.